Hello Leo, welcome to your reading and as always I hope you're well and if you're new to this channel my name is Joe and I will be doing your reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. Okay, as usual always keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general so just take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. And the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention. That's why they're timeless and that's usually how it always works. Do feel free to browse my channel, you might want to check some of the previous readings that I've done for your sign. But Leo, more than anything, do check what other signs you have in other placements, mostly Moon, Rising and Venus. Don't just focus on your sun sign. And then you can go ahead and check out some of the readings that I've done specifically for those signs. Mostly if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you currently. Sometimes that happens and it usually means that your messages are just simply coming stronger from those placements. It all depends on your current life path and journey. And last but not least, please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's always the best way to support a channel and to help it grow. And thank you to all of you who have already liked, commented, subscribed and for your kind donations. I truly appreciate all of your support. Thank you very, very much. All right, Leo. All right, let's get started. Leo, you got the Nine of Cups as the starting energy of your reading, or the heart of the matter. And the Nine of Cups talks about, well, emotional fulfillment, self-fulfillment. Uh, Maybe putting yourself first, doing things, starting to do things now for you and no one else. You know, this is about making yourself the priority, putting yourself from, uh, always from now on. Okay, not worrying about other people's needs, um, whatever, you know, it's just time for you to, to go after your own fulfillment, after your own happiness, and putting yourself first, like I said, okay, um, I think they're really trying to tell you that it's time to, to do this, start focusing your energy on you and more than anything your happiness go after the things that make you happy not others don't 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 think about other people okay the energy that's crossing you could be a challenge or blockage is the queen of pentacles um i think you know this is about sitting with yourself and starting to address uh, something Maybe some type of proper planning, maybe... Leo, some of you, um, there might be a sense of loneliness right now. Maybe this is why you're meant to go after your, ha your own happiness from now on. Maybe you have left a situation where you might be feeling a bit lonely at this time. It might be you might be a little bit down because of this. You might be feeling a little uh, bluesy. You might be on the blues right now about something. But uh, Leo, there's a purpose for you to be in this energy. You're meant to sit with your own self. You see how she, she's looking at this pentacle? This is about proper planning, sitting with yourself, sitting with your energy and starting to plan ahead. You know, uh, I think you're going to have to start seeing where you want to go, what you want to do from now on. It's okay to feel alone, okay? Don't, 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 don't let that get, get the best of you right now. Sometimes, you know, this is usually temporarily, but it feels like it might uh, be bringing you down quite a bit here. I, I can feel it somehow. But um, you're, you're supposed to sit with your energy and start planning a little bit ahead about uh, what you want now. I think you are being given the opportunity, the freedom to go after um, your own emotional fulfillment. And um, you might be having a bit of a hard time seeing this in kind of like in a positive way. I'm not sure. Let, let me see. Let's continue. Okay, right. So crowning you, conscious mind, you are aware of this is the Seven of Cups. 
practice about weighing your options or trying to decide would be what would be the best for you what type of decision would make you happy there is a lot of confusion that's why we have all these cloud in this here uh, you're having a hard time concentrating or keeping your eyes on the prize or you know yeah absolutely um this is why you, they're telling you that you it, you have to give yourself a bit of time here and really sit with yourself and do this this proper planning planning ahead planning your future or just planning what you want to do next from or after whatever you've dealt with um, to, to step into this new chapter in your life and it's about putting yourself first from now on you know you're gonna you're the, the, the um, you are the main character in this new beginning in your life um, I think I don't know some of you Leo have tried other things that didn't work out as expected okay you shouldn't let or allow your emotions to get the best of you don't let um, past experiences get the best of you either okay your emotions might be a little bit all, all over the place right now uh, you, you have to be you have to be very clear with your desires and keep your eyes on the price and yeah don't don't let any anything confuse you All you have to do is just go after what you believe would make you happy and this is about being true and loyal to yourself okay and I think this is probably why you're going through whatever it is that you're going through because you're meant to put yourself first now absolutely in your subconscious mind below you you're not aware of this or you should pay more attention to this or be more aware of this this is the three of pentacles usually the three of pentacles talks about working to, together with someone or you know collaborating but in this case i you see all this darkness all that black um leo i think they're trying to tell you here that whatever the situation if you're still dealing in, in the situation they're telling you that like I said you're meant to put yourself first but this is being trapped well not trapped I don't I'm not necessarily but you're being you're in a something's holding you back from shining the way you're meant to you something is not letting you be or do the things that you're meant to do um, you're just in this dark environment you're not this is about not being in the right place I think some of you are questioned or criticized by others or simply just somehow not they don't allow you to to do what you're meant to do because we have this craftsman standing on the stool right here and he's like being somehow distracted or bothered by these other two individuals and it's like all he wants to do is do his work but there's these other two individuals start telling him how to do things when he knows how to do those type of things because he's the one who was hired hired in this situation so yeah I think it's just simplifying this this is you being in an environment or in a place where you just don't feel like you're a part of it anymore there's something off about, off, uh, about the situation or place um, maybe it's time for you to step out of this and shine do your magic do what you are meant to do okay maybe this is why you, you have to go through this proper planning whatever it is that you're dealing with it could be a job environment even a relationship but let's suppose I don't know let's just pretend it's a job you know I think you might be considering maybe going after something that makes you happier and you know that you will be doing if it's not just doing your work better it's maybe even doing 
even more. Maybe you know that you can do a lot more and the environment that you're in is not allowing you to do that. You know, they might be keeping you a little restricted somehow and you wish to probably expand, grow a little more, you know. And I don't think this place, I don't think there's more growth for you in this place or situation. So this is why I think you've been called to, well, I, to start thinking about your own happiness and going after your fulfillment. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. Don't let anything try to distract you. It's time for you to weigh your options, consider your options, and see what really makes you happy. This Queen of Pentacles does give me that energy of being feeling a little lonely, but probably probably even a little unsupported island. I'm not sure. Um, be realistic about your expectations, okay? But do I think you really have to sit with your energy and decide what you want to do here. Behind you, recent past, or where you're coming from, or what you are meant to leave behind, or the purpose of the situation for you, is the Four of uh, Pentacles. So we have the Three of Pentacles, and this Four of Pentacles. It's it's letting go. Um, Leo, it could be that you are staying in the situation because. It probably gives you some type of sense of security. You don't want to let it go because you might be afraid that you won't find something better out there. But you've been holding on to something and it's draining you. I think you're fed up with this. You're, you can't deal with this anymore. You're, you're tired. You're burnt out. You see how the, he's holding on. You see his shawl, his robe. It's all torn. And I think this um, environment situation that you're dealing with, it's that's what it's doing to you. I think some of you might want to watch your health or just your overall well-being, you know. Um, I think you're going to have to make a sacrifice here. If you're really not happy where you're at or if you just don't feel like, like you're in the right place, I think it's time to let go of something here and go after your, your emotional fulfillment. But do, maybe you're not being true to yourself, you know? It's like you're just sitting there desiring for more, but you're not taking action. Very hardly you can see a rabbit here or a hare um, right there next to the queen. Um, on some other cards or if you google the image uh, you, you'll be able to see it better but this rabbit next to her talks about you know growth multiplicity maybe investing somewhere to have a windfall fast growth fast results but you're just not taking action. Maybe the rabbit represents some type of fear because rabbits can be very nervous or, you know, uh, sometimes they have a fear of taking certain chances. And, well, if you see all that yellow around you, you know, that's your solar plexus, that's your confidence. And I think uh, they're telling you that you should just stop desiring something and not taking action maybe it's time to to take this pentacle and uh and do something about about something here okay in your near future or where you're meant to head be headed to or what's coming towards you the lovers gemini energy it's about being guided to a place that is more divinely meant for you. This is finally reaching um, a place 
where you are. There's all this joy, there's all this love, there's all this... I think you're being guided to be somewhere else here with this lover's card. Please be careful with snakes. Um, please be careful with your inner voice, especially the one that speaks out from fear and insecurities and doubts that might be holding you back and preventing, preventing you from moving forward or taking this risk in your life. You are meant to be in a place where you are meant to be divinely in, you know. There's something divinely meant for you. That's what I'm trying to say. You're, you're meant to be, you're meant to step into this energy or place in your life or this chapter. You have to trust. There is something better for you. That's what they're trying to tell you. But you just have to let go. You're going to have to make the sacrifice. Don't think that. Don't settle for less. Don't, don't, you don't have to stay here because uh, there's this uh, fear of losing. You're afraid that you won't find something as stable or as good as this when you know that this isn't even that stable or good to begin with. This is where your emotions are all over the place. Proper planning is required for you, Leo, right now. This is a, a representation of you in this reading or how you should see yourself or respond to the situation. Um, Five of Wands talks about conflict, competitiveness, a lot of drama. Maybe the, the, the situation that you're in or the environment that you're in, there's a lot of drama, a lot of conflict. You shouldn't be dealing with this anymore. You're not even a part of this. You shouldn't be a part of this. It's a very low vibrational energy. I think it has kept, it has somehow sucked you into it. It's energy. It's keeping you trapped. And it's just keeping you in the state of desiring, but not taking action. You have to trust. You have to stop uh, dealing with this conflict or energies or people, whatever it is that you're dealing with. If you stay here, this is going to just constantly, it's always the same thing. Very toxic. You're meant to grow. There's more growth for you somewhere else. The energy that's surrounding you, influencing, inspiring is the Page of Pentacles. That's your new, yes, your fresh new start right there. That's your brand new beginning. That's your new uh, opportunity in life. Don't be afraid to start from scratch. Pages are just very small initial or starting energies. You know, he doesn't have a horse. He doesn't have armor. He's just, you know, standing on his feet, holding this pentacle. And maybe, you know, it's about just high hopes, desiring, wishing. Again, we have all that yellow, that solar plexus, it's that confidence, okay? Don't be afraid to start from zero again, or to start all over again. Rome wasn't built in one day, Leo, uh, but you're meant to have a new beginning. And I think you're meant to have it like this. I think you are meant to be stripped to the core because you have to leave something behind and start all over again. And it's going to be better for you. It might be scary, but you have to have faith. You have to trust. You have to go after what makes you happy now. You, you know, you're, you really have to see that you are in an environment that is not really meant for you. You're, there's no more uh, place for you to grow in here. That's the whole thing. 
hopes and fears, we've got the Nine of Swords, so there is a lot of stress and anxiety. I think you are really... Oh, it's this Nine energy. Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups, you really want to be happy. You want to... to you want to find your emotional fulfillment, but something's holding you back from achieving that or having that in your life. You're trapped in fear thinking that you won't be able to, to achieve this. And it's safer for you to stay in a place where you think you have to stay because you're playing it safe. Yeah, you're playing it safe, but that's that's the mistake here. Because you just have to see that there is something better for you. Listen to your heart. Don't let stress and anxiety get the best of you. Don't let it hold you back. Keep your eyes on the price. You are desiring something. Just one of these cups is covered with a cloth, you know? And that just immediately tells me that it's something that you have not allowed yourself to discover or experience. You have done other things, but the results have not been optimal. And you haven't allowed yourself to go after that one cup that could be the one that would make, truly make you happy. You have not allowed yourself to do that because you have allowed other energies to distract you, to derail you from that. I don't like to use the word waste, but it's like you have wasted time and energy on other things instead of making yourself happy. And now I have the Knight of Pentacles as the outcome or the advice. Stop standing there stagnant, staring at the horizon with that pentacle in your hand. You know, I was talking about the page feeling like you don't have the equipment, you're not ready, or starting small. Well, with time, you will gain some type of momentum. It's that horse, which is no ordinary horse, that's a stallion. Then you will gain the armor. But you have to keep moving, you have to start moving. And you don't have to rush anything. Actually, no, you don't, because I think you really have to do some proper planning before but also don't stay there just thinking all the time you know um, at the same time you know it's just saying don't stay there stagnant just desiring something something from afar start moving slowly okay but confident confident move with confidence Okay, and take that pentacle and plant it somewhere else. Go after your dreams. Plant that seed and dare to have a new beginning. Dare to experience new things in your life. Okay. Three of Swords. You're not happy in this environment. Three of Pentacles. If you stay here, you will, you will always be like this. There will be some type of heartache, heartbreak, this, I mean, uh, disappointment. Um, you're meant to heal from this for some of you, whatever it is that you've been dealing with. But uh, you're meant to be happy, okay? You don't have to settle for less and stay in, in the situation. Then I got the hangman, which is Piscean energy, you know. This is being hanging upside down. Very uncomfortable. You have to see or accept the truth of the situation to get yourself unstuck, okay? Do not wait to see if something improves or changes, or to see what happens. I think you've been doing this already for too long. Uh, that would be fooling yourself. Okay? It's time to get yourself out of the situation and go after 
your happiness, your joy. And you see, there's the chariot with Cancerian energy. You're meant to start moving forward. You are in charge of your life and your destiny. Leo, um, you are behind the steering wheel. You're in the driver's seat. You are the one who gives the order to start moving forward. Okay? Don't wait and see what happens. Again, we have all that yellow. Confidence, self-confidence, trusting, believing. Okay? Let's uh, get additional messages, advice, or warnings from this other deck just to see what else comes out. You never know. Then we will close your reading with the uh, Woodland Warden Oracle deck. somewhere else Leo you're meant to be happy eight of cups walk away you have to walk away don't let your emotions get the best of you what other messages do you have for Leo please regard this reading or situation there's something else you need to know regarding the dream or situation what would be please thank you what else what else for Leo please oh beautiful okay you're meant to be in a somewhere divinely meant for you you're meant to be in a better place and please do be aware of snakes or your inner fears okay don't let them distract you. Don't let them hold you back. Whenever you, you, you hear, even from yourself, you know, or from others, that you're not worthy of having something better, or that you should stay in a place, playing it safe, um, uh, that you shouldn't risk, you know. Well, you got to be true to yourself here. Are you happy or not? I don't think you are. Um, you're tired, you are exhausted, you just don't want to deal with this anymore, well, then it's time for you to go after something new. Three, four, seven, nine, eight, okay. okay. So the cards that flew out is the Three of Cups. There will be some type of celebration for you, Leo, but more than anything, Leo, you have to change your mindset here. You see how all that positive energy, it's about celebrating, celebrating life, enjoying life. Remember to appreciate even the smallest details of every day of your life. Try to always see the positive side of things, okay? You're not seeing it here. In the Three of Pentacles, but in the Three of Cups, something first, you know, yeah, you have to uh, adjust your mindset here. There's some type of, 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 of change that you need to do within you so that you can start uh, going after what you want. Going after your happiness, period. Four of Wands talks about harmony, balance. You're meant to be in, in, a, in a place that is like this, okay? harmony, joy, also some type of celebration, you know? Yeah. Then I have the Seven of Cups again, which is, you know, allow yourself to, 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 to go after that one thing that you haven't really done for yourself, okay? It's time to put yourself first. And don't let other things distract you. Nine of Wands is... Yeah, don't stay trapped. It's time for you to step out and experience new things. 
do your magic. Enjoy life. You don't have to stay trapped in fear. Okay? I think you've been wounded before in the past for past experiences. And this is why you're playing it safe. This is playing it a little too safe. To the point where you're not enjoying life the way you are meant to. Knight of Wands, it talks about, oh, maybe in your mind you are in a very erratic in and out, sitting on the fence about things, you know, overthinking things and not taking action, okay? But then again, you know, the Knight of Wands talks about being playful, allowing yourself to be playful, allowing yourself to experience new things, okay? Be like this Knight of Wands, you know? Very passionate. But also be careful of not being too spontaneous with certain things. That's your energy. That's fire energy. Okay? Watch your... your uh, yeah. It's... I mean, it's perfect, perfectly fine to be very passionate, but don't let... Just don't, don't let some type of erratic behavior take over you and make you take bad decisions, okay? This is why you need to put your feet on the ground and do some proper planning before you um, do something too abruptly, okay? And then there you are again with the King of Wands. It talks about, you know, do dare to... Go after your passions, okay? You are protected. But you've had enough of something. So this is why you're meant to go after something different. You are allowed to do that. But just don't be too blunt or, or spontaneous about it, okay? Proper planning before you take action, okay? All right, Leo, let's uh, close your reading with this uh, other deck, with the Woodland Warden Oracle deck, okay? Remember that whatever message um, comes out of this deck does not have to be related or correlated with the reading in any way, shape, or form. Just take it as additional advice that can help you later down your journey. Okay, message here for Leo, please. So Leo, you got number five, which is the sheep and the blackberry, and it means devotion. Okay, let's see what devotion says, number five. So devotion says, the sheep and blackberry calls us to focus on our commitments, whether they are to a partner, a job, a creative practice, or a spiritual tradition. Sheep are innocent and vulnerable and must be watched over and guided. Blackberries are symbols of protection with their large, brambling thorns. Their abundant fruit also symbolizes prosperity. Combining the energies of the two gives us a direction. Honor your promises, allowing them to fruit and flourish. In the upright position says that in what people or practices do you find wisdom and stability? Remember to care well for these sources of guidance and protection. In the reverse, it says that you can be your own guide. Your wisdom comes from within rather than without. And it is your responsibility to impart this gift as a mentor or a teacher. And one question that you must ask yourself with this card is, how can I better care for my relationships, spiritual practices, or work? Okay. I don't know if that resonates for you somehow, but more than anything, Leo, I hope this reading does uh, help you and it gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life. And if you do like it and enjoy it, please do hit the like button with a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. And Leo, as usual, I hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye.